everyone and welcome back to my channel. It seems like it has been a million years since I have sat down to film a video for you guys and I'm so excited that I had some time today to do that um, because today's video is going to be a update video as well as a unboxing haul because Stila was having a like really great sale the other day. And so I got some stuff from there, so I want to go ahead and do like a little unboxing because my package came yesterday and I've been so excited. Um, I just cut open the box and then I was like, wait, let me go ahead and film like an unboxing. So this is like the first time I'll be seeing this stuff, so it's really exciting. And especially because I don't really own anything from Stila. I have like a foundation and like a couple eyeshadows, but for the most part, I don't really have any of their products. And so this time around, I got a nice selection of different products for them, so I'm really excited about that. And yeah, so just real quick, I want to talk to you guys about some things that I want to update you guys on. And first things first is um, my face, like why I'm wearing no makeup. Because I know a lot of people feel like, oh, well, you have a beauty channel, so you should always, you know, have your makeup on and, you know, look like a supermodel or something, you know, when you do these videos. But, um... I personally feel, you know, that you should be okay with, you know, your own natural skin. You know, when I go to school, 95% of the time I have no makeup on, you know, so I should feel, I feel like I should be able to, you know, film my videos and come on my YouTube channel, you know, and be comfortable, you know, just filming like this, um, you know, and also the reason why I'm wearing no makeup is for two reasons. Um, one is it's like almost 7 o'clock at night right now, and I feel like I just took a shower, and like for me to go ahead and put my makeup on, I'm like not going anywhere tonight, so it's like, why well, take the time to put all my makeup on, clog my pores, my freshly cleaned pores, you know, and things like that, as well as I've actually, um, for almost like a month and a half now, I've been having like eyeball allergies, I guess, um, so I didn't want to go ahead and just put makeup on like kind of unnecessarily and irritate my eyes because I did go to the eye doctor and she's like oh you're you're just seeing like eyeball allergies you know it's probably from like whatever is just floating around in the air or something like that she says a lot of people have been coming to her with that because my main concern was that I developed like an allergy to like my makeup or something which would have been a huge problem because she's like oh well even if you are allergic to you know um your makeup you can just go get hypoallergenic makeup which is like Clinique All May and Neutrogena I think don't quote me on that I knew I know for a fact Clinique is but I like hardly own any of those brands so it's like my whole entire makeup collection I'm gonna have to throw away because I'm allergic to it but she said she doesn't think it's my makeup just based upon I guess how my eyes looked and where the aller the like irritation was happening so that's a good thing um, so that's another reason why I didn't want to go ahead and put my um, eye makeup on tonight just to give my eyes you know a little break and not have to irritate them unnecessarily and finally the last thing I want to touch up on is my channel I know I was uploading like two videos a week about for quite some time I thought I was you know doing pretty good you know uploading my videos at least I feel I was um, and then this school year is just kicking my butt I was having so many classes and it was literally like I would, I'm honestly studying non-stop. Like, I have never had to study so much in my whole entire life. Like, usually, I'd have, like, one class I'd have to study for, um, and, like, all the other, like, I mean, that would require, like, serious studying. Like, this is, like, where I'm studying, like, every single day, and then I have a test, and then I have another test in another class, and it just seems like it's back-to-back -back classes, and I'm not taking very easy classes. Like, I'm taking um, anatomy and physiology, too with the lab I was taking chemistry and chem lab and then I have a sociology class on top of that so it was just literally non-stop studying and that's why I haven't been uploading as much but I did not want you guys to think I forgot about you or I don't like making videos anymore because that's just not the case at all it's just my education obviously has to come first before this but um, I actually did drop one of my classes just because it was too much on my plate and I was like you know it's not worth stressing um, myself out over this and you know just not getting sleep at night because I'm so worried about passing my classes and getting you know the grades I want because I'm really picky when it comes to grades like if, if I feel like I can't get an A in the class then I'll just like drop the class because I want straight A's <laughs> I mean I there are some classes where I'm like okay I'll deal with a B because I know they're not like my best subjects like I would have been fine with like a B in chemistry. Let's be real. I would have been fine with a C in chemistry. But um, I just dropped that just because it was taking up way too much of my time. And with anatomy, I figured anatomy is a more important subject for me. So um, I'll just go ahead and take that class in the summer. 
But in other good news, I'm only taking one class next semester because it's like one of the last classes that I need before getting my associate's degree. So I will be taking that class only on, my hair keeps flying in my mouth, I will be taking that class only on Fridays next semester. So I will have so much free time to film videos for you guys. So I'm really excited about that so you guys can for sure expect like more videos better quality videos and things like that definitely within the new year um, during Christmas break and things like that I'm going to really start coming up with new ideas and like how to make my channel better and more consistent uploads and like things like that so um, I'm really excited that I will only be taking one class next semester and I'll have so much time to film for you guys so I know I've been talking for a really long time um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the unboxing haul now and this is what my little box looks like. I just cut it open right now. Um, well, I cut it open yesterday. <laughs> um, to go ahead, and I haven't touched anything yet. It is all still wrapped up and packed in the little bag. And it's really cute. It's uh, wrapped up in pink stuff. So let me go ahead and take it out. All right, so that's it. Yep, this is all just paper. Toss this to the side over here. All right. So what Stila was having was, I think they had the same kind of sale last year for Cyber Monday where they had some items that was like up to 80% off items and I mean they had like, like in this sale they had like their eyeshadows were like, I think it was like 4 or like $6 and they were originally like $32 or something like that. Like really deep discounts on a lot of their items. So I like took this as a opportunity to actually get into a little bit of trouble um, and buy some stuff all thanks to my friend Danielle because she's the one who told me about the sale. So thanks for doing that and um, yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead sorry I got out of focus um, I'm just gonna go ahead and open this stuff up so all right so here we just have my little order sheet um, okay it doesn't have the prices on it but I think I kind of remember the prices I'll go ahead and definitely have everything I got listed down below um, if they're still available on the Stila website I don't know if they're having a sale because they're discontinuing these items or getting rid of them or if it's just because they had excess inventory. So, first thing in here is the Stila All Over Shimmer uh, Liquid Illuminizer. And I love having a highlighted face and a really nice natural glow. Um, and since I have kind of like a pinky undertone, I figured this would complement me the best just because I feel like the yellow, um, the yellowy kind of shimmers look better if you're tanner or have different color skin. Um, also, really quick, I want to address the fact that, sorry if my lighting is a little weird in this video, um, a piece of my light, like, the way I have my light set up, um, came off, so, like, light is shining through where it's kind of not supposed to, um, so sorry if, like, I look extra red or pink, I mean, I'm already red and pink in the video, but sorry if it's bothersome, I promise next video, it'll be a lot better. Um, so anyways, I went ahead and picked this up, I think it was, like, Honestly, nothing I got was more than $6. I bought one thing from for $10, but everything else was $6 and under. So, um, and I'll tell you which one was $10, but everything else was either six or $6 or under. So definitely a great deal. Um, but this is what I got, and it's just in the color Pink Shimmer, and it looks like this. It kind of looks like a nail polish, actually. And you open it up, and it's like a... Uh, it is kind of like a nail polish because it has a little brush here and you can just go ahead and I guess paint it on and let's see and then you just rub it in and it kind of has like a pinky gold sheen to it I think it's really pretty this is something that you could totally do um, apply it like directly to your face or you could mix it in with your foundation or moisturizer if you want just like a little glow like illuminating from within kind of deal and then the next two things that I got, which I'm actually super excited for because I really wanted these when they first came out, but I just did not want to spend, like, full price for them. I think they were, like, $28 or $26, and for me, I was just like, eh, I don't think so. But what they are, it's the Stila Countless Color Pigments, and I got them in two colors. Um, this one here is in the color Melody. I'm pretty sure these were $4 um, during the sale, but here we go. So, this doesn't look like a whole lot of colors, but, um, okay, so this one here is in, like I said, the color Melody, and it's supposed to be, if I could get this open, come here, Ooh. okay, pretty much what it is, it's kind of like all swirled together, and you're supposed to be able to have, like, endless color combinations and things like that, like, if you wanted a 
pinky purple you could go for here if you wanted like a darker purple you could dip your brush there but <clears throat> I don't know I kind of feel like let me just swirl my finger in it I feel like you're just gonna get like one overall color for the most part um, pigmentation isn't too bad of course this is just like a light swatch on my hand without primer but for four bucks I figured you can't really go wrong and it'd definitely be you know something cool to play around with <clears throat> so I got that colored one and then I got another one this is called Encore or maybe it's Encore I don't I'm kind of bad at spelling um yeah but this is the name of it and then this one I actually think um looks a little bit better because there's more of like a distinguish between the colors like obviously here you have your dark brown you have like a uh, kind of like a cranberry pink color and then you do have your lighter color so if you wanted to go ahead and like do the individual colors I feel like it'd be a lot easier to do that than with this one um, so I got that for like a pretty neutral this one actually feels a lot more velvety oh my goodness yes it is look how pigmented that is oh my gosh I'm really excited about this one yeah this one feels really really good yeah and there's like a minute little swatch of the um, rusty color up there but yeah so I'm actually excited to use this one totally let me know in the comments below if you guys would like for me to do a tutorial with any of these products or if you would like a review on any of them I would be more than glad to do that for you guys um, so that's that and then what is all this stuff well here I got a bunch of stuff what is this here I have okay I did not order these I don't know if these are like all samples or if they gave me the wrong thing I don't know but here we have the this is face the day multi-use moisturizing gel cream this is the light source spot correcting and brightening serum which I'm actually super excited to try because I'm always looking for something that's really gonna brighten my complexion and give me that really nice healthy glow as well as um, reduce you know my hyperpigmentation you know acne scarring and things like that then this is the Glowing Reviews Gentle Skin Renewing Scrub. So that's pretty cool. You guys know I absolutely love scrubs. And then right here is the Undercover Conditioning Toner and Moisture Prep, which is actually perfect for me right now because, um, whatchamacallit, the weather here has, like, last week, we had, like, three days where the weather was, like, a lot cooler than it usually is, and I mean by a lot, we're talking, like, five degrees cooler. There was, like, no humidity in the air, and it totally felt like fall, but let me tell you, my face dried up, like, the desert, and it was so bad, and I was like, great. Um, it's definitely going to be fun this winter because I'm actually going to Canada, um, for the New Year's and I'm going to see snow for the first time and all that stuff but I'm like so nervous because I feel like my skin is so sensitive to like a temperature change that my skin is just gonna be dry all over and just cracked so if you guys live in cold weather um, definitely let me know what some of your favorite like moisturizing products are because I'll definitely want to go ahead and pick those up just because I feel like my normal just like Bath and Body Works lotions are not gonna cut it like I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need something that's super intense so let me know in the comments below if you guys have a favorite intensive like moisturizer for the winter time and over here I got I was actually really excited for this because this was like a it says that it's a hundred dollar value and it retails for thirty two dollars and I guess this is from one of their holiday sets I don't know if it's a holiday set for this year or if it was last year's holiday set um, but this is the seeing starch smudge stick waterproof eyeliner set so I was really excited to go ahead and try this out one because you get a variety of colors as well as um, the fact that they are waterproof um, because I know for me like eyeliner on me especially underneath um, smudges so bad so I went ahead and was like let me go ahead and give these a try you get it's ten dollars for five of them so it's literally only like two dollars each which is not bad at all um, like considering like you could get an elf eyeliner for a dollar or two dollars so I was excited to try that out the colors that are in here are stargazer, angelfish, tetra, moire, and oscarfish so I think these are actually all named after like types of fish um, which is kind of odd like you would think they'd be named after like the reindeer or something since it's like a holiday set but let's go ahead and open these up and 
Another fantastic thing is that they are retractable. Maybe. Don't tell me this is like broken. Maybe you just have to, uh... Oh, there you go. Okay. I think these are kind of like the, um, Clinique ones. Oh, well, they're really creamy. Super creamy. Alright, so this one is the eyeliner swatch. I know I swatched so weird. I'm terrible at swatches. That's definitely something I'll work on for you guys. Um, so the thing is with these retractable eyeliners is that it will retract up, but it won't, it doesn't go down. Which I also ran into that problem because I just got an eyeliner from Clinique and it did the same thing and I took it back to them and I was like, it's broken. Like I spent $16 and it doesn't go back down. But they're like, no, they don't go back down. Um, but nonetheless, that's that. Let me go ahead and I will do swatches of all of the colors for you and be right back. So I went ahead and swatched them all for you here on my hands and they, this first black one here is called Stargazer. Then we have Angel Fish, which is a gorgeous champagne -y, shimmery color, which I'm actually super excited about. Then the next one we have here is Tetra, which is a plum color. Then we have Moray, which is a forest green color. And then last but not least is Oscar Fitch, Fish, not Fitch, um, Oscar Fish, which is the brown one that I showed you earlier. And right off the bat, my first impressions are that they go on so easily. They're very creamy. You don't have to, like, rub really hard at all. And um, they are also, all of them are have glitter in them. So none of them are matte. They all are shimmery. Um, the only one that doesn't have, like, chunks of glitter, like actual glitter chunks, is the light one here, which is Angelfish, which I would love to use in my waterline. I think that'd be really pretty, so maybe I'll go ahead and try that one out. But the other ones I probably wouldn't put on my waterline, just because, you know, there's chunks of glitter in there. Um, but I would definitely still use them on my lower lash line. And, um, just rubbing my finger across them, like, these aren't going anywhere. Like, look at that. Like, they did not move. So I think we might have a winner here for, like, actual smudge-proof, waterproof eyeliner. I'm so excited. So I definitely think I will do a review on these for you guys and let you know, like, how they wear throughout the day because I have extremely oily eyelids and thing, even waterproof liners that I've gotten from other brands will move. So, so excited for that. If these work, I will be even more excited because it was only $10. Alright, and moving on because I feel like this like really simple haul video is turning into like a super long one. Um, but last but not least, the last thing I got is the Stila Brighten and Correct Concealer because I am all about highlighting, um, especially underneath my eyes and like down the bridge of my nose and things like that. So, um, really excited about that. And I got it in the color tone. It was really hard to see because I feel like I'm never the lightest shade in a brand and I'm usually like second or third lightest so this was the second lightest one that they had there um, and it's just one of those twist up things which you can see you actually have a pretty significant way to like I don't know if you can see like the product starts there and it needs to get like all the way up there so you have a pretty significant way that you have to twist before it starts to come out oh maybe not okay so here is the concealer and you go ahead and you like it's one of those concealers where it's like twisted together, so I actually think this will be light enough to conceal once because it's blending into my hand pretty perfectly and my foundation is usually a little bit darker than my actual skin tone just because like the rest of my body is a little bit darker than my face because I never sun my face. So I actually think this might work um, to lighten up. If not, it will still work most definitely as like the perfect cover-up concealer so I'm excited about this and this one was definitely only like four bucks so really happy with all of the things that I got I'm super stoked about these eyeliners right here so that concludes this video oh my gosh I feel like I've been talking forever hopefully this video is not boring you guys and it definitely gives it a thumbs up if you guys like haul videos um that way I'll know whether or not you want to see more haul videos or not um and yeah, so I thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Sorry I have been absent a little bit. Um, but if I'm not on YouTube, you can always find me on Twitter or Instagram. Um, I'm not on Twitter like 
every single day, but I'm definitely on it a lot more than any of my other social media um, platforms. And also, I will, like on my Twitter, I always post whenever there's like a good sale somewhere, like I posted about the Stila sale. So if you guys go ahead and follow me on there, then you'd be able to, you know, stay up to date, like if I happen to hear, you know, about a good sale or something like that, I will totally let my subscribers know, of course. And yeah, so I thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. It really means a lot to me. And if you guys are not already subscribed, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. It is 100% free and it'll just keep you up to date. It'll let you know whenever I do post a new video because I know as of right now my videos are a little bit on the sporadic side. But um, I promise you guys I will definitely get back into like a routine where you can expect to see videos from me on certain days of the week. So that concludes this video. I thank you guys so much for watching and I can't wait to talk to you all in my next video. Bye!